Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm sitting in front of a freshly refinished and partially restored Chickering built in 1974. It measures uh, five foot six inches from the very back to the front, which is kind of a weird size for pianos. We don't see too many pianos right in the middle of five to five six or five to six foot. Usually they end at about five foot two, and they'll jump to the parlor size, which usually starts about five foot seven, five foot eight, five foot nine. So five foot six is kind of rare, but chickering is kind of rare. So this piano is actually, it was made in 1974 and it was the anniversary edition of 150 years of chickering. So chickering was started in 1824, believe it or not, which is crazy. They have done a ton in our industry. They are the ones who came up with doing a single piece um, cast iron plate in a piano, which allowed us to have higher tension on the strings, which gave us a lot more power and a lot more resonance and sustain. Um, and they usually had really intricate case designs. They were really good at case designs. That's why you see a lot of these chickerings that are art case pianos. This particular one is not. It's more of a standard look. It was made in 1974, so it wasn't in that kind of era of doing things really dramatic and over the top. Uh, it's more of a streamlined look. So what we did to this piano, we got it in, and it looked like no one played it. It looked like it was just sat there forever and ever and ever. But it also looks like it sat in a barn because the finish was horrible. It was really crappy. It was like kind of rubbed through in places and just kind of crackling. And it really sucked because this was a piano that really had a lot of potential. So we stripped it and we finished it like this. Same with the plate and the soundboard. We put a new pin block in the piano and did new strings because why not? If you're pulling the plate, you should do that anyways. And actually you have to do that if you're going to pull the plate. Um, and so we did all that and then we just kind of hyper focused on the action itself and just dialing everything in. These chickerings were really nice pianos back then and still are. So this one just was neglected and just wasn't very well taken care of. So when we got in, we had to do quite a bit of regulating to dial it in the way we wanted it. Um, and then obviously we stripped and refinished the cabinet as well, new decals on the soundboard and the fallboard, and it turned out really, really nice. We polished all the brass as well. So let's talk about what I like about chickering. So chickering, like I said, is kind of one of those companies that us technicians just respect. We're just like, you know what? They brought a lot to the table in the early part of the uh, piano boom, um, especially with the plate design. Um, and a lot of times these chickerings, they sound a little bit like canavis, almost like a canavi and a Baldwin mixed. Um, they're fairly, uh, I wouldn't say bright, but powerful. So they, as you can tell already, they definitely have that American grit, especially down here. They're always going to have that kind of bitey um, grit. I don't know what else to describe it. I always say that. People are like, what are you talking about? But it means like there's power to it. It's not like the smooth, velvety piano like a lot of the German pianos. Like think Schimmel. Schimmels are very smooth, pure, clean sounding, phenomenal pianos. I love those pianos. Uh, whereas American pianos tend to have a little bit more distinction between the notes, they have a little bit more bite, um, and especially chickerings and canabies and baldwins. Um, and this one is no, uh, uh, I don't know what to say. It's 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 it definitely uh, has that tech or that characteristic. But if you watch our videos, you know. When you try out a piano, you're supposed to play as soft as you can. A lot of times you go into piano stores and the guy's going to be like, this is great, this piano sound. And just start yelling over it and being really loud because it's easy to make a piano sound good when you beat the crap out of it. So what you want to do is try to play as soft as you can and see how soft you can go. And in an American piano, sometimes that can be tough if they're not super well, well regulated just because they're designed to be punchy. They're designed to be muscle cars. I'm able to play pretty soft and quiet on this piano. pianist I really shouldn't be the one playing this piano but today Giovanni could make it so I'm sitting in and when I play piano I talk the whole time <laughs> so here, here I go I'm gonna just try to play the piano so you can kind of hear what it sounds like um, 
as you've already heard, it definitely has some power to it. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of powerful stuff and soft stuff. Especially this piano. I'm playing really soft down here in the bass and a lot of times when you do that with a piano in general it starts to become really muddy and you don't hear the individual notes you just kind of hear this sound and a lot of times it'll just sound like a, like a whole chord just being, being played over and over again as opposed to the of it and being really able to hear the distinction between the two. So guys, that's what this chickering is. 1974, six, or sorry, five foot six from the very front to the very back and it's just been refinished. It's in awesome condition. It looks brand new. If you guys have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.